every last business model you heard of. Okay, all of the easiest ways you heard to make money online was a lie. Okay, the fastest was a lie. Okay, now they all work, but today I'm going to show you the actual easiest way to make money online, offline, uh, because a lot of people have been leaving things out. But this right here is not going to leave anything out. And guess what? Somewhere in this video, you're going to be able to get this for free. You'll be able to download it. Okay. So we're going to get to step one. Okay. So step one, I got my teacher's staff thingy situation. Step one is positioning your. So I say positioning your, that means yourself or your blank. The blank in this situation would be an asset guys. Okay, you can build that asset, you can partner with someone that owns an asset, you can create an asset, or you can buy an asset. Okay, so Ty Lopez, you guys have heard of Ty Lopez before. He came out of nowhere, blew the hell up, made millions and millions and millions of dollars off of other people's assets. So he did step one. He positioned unique assets, but he leveraged others, okay? So step one is positioning. How do you solve a problem in a unique way with your asset? How do you create an irresistible offer to where people can only purchase from you, okay? So this seems like a long thing, but you can do this pause, especially with ChatGPT, in like five minutes. So that's step one, creating, buying, or partnering on an asset. That's step one the asset, a unique asset. All right, so then you have step two. Step two is called leveraging them. Leveraging who? Leveraging who? Okay, well, the them in this situation can be hosts from podcasts, people that can do interviews, that has an audience that would purchase from your asset or become a member of the asset that you have. This digital or coming to your business, whatever it is. This is why it will grow so fast because these people have already cultivated and built trust with audiences instead of you starting from scratch or running cold traffic. So step one was this asset. Now imagine taking this asset. You can get an asset like an ebook or whatever in 10 minutes. Now you do step two. You find someone with an audience, podcasts, interview people, uh, collaborations, YouTube channels, all of that extra stuff, affiliates, internships. Now we move on to step three, profit recycle. Because those first two steps, you probably did those for free if you're just starting out right now. Now remember, even though these are steps, this can all be done in one day. I have the asset empire. Okay, it started off as a boot camp, the Asset Empire. I brought those students in. They have access to having their own niche affiliate networks. Do you know what an affiliate network is? That is like a Max Bounty or a ClickBank, okay? Where other people, they'll be leveraging other people to bring in massive amounts of sales, okay? All right, so the Asset Empire is an asset for me, but then it teaches them how to own and leverage assets to bring in money for them. Do you guys understand how that works? So then you position yourself. You find podcasts. For example, this week I got like four interviews set up. And what am I going to talk about on those interviews? I'm going to talk about my monetized assets. You can monetize them with ads. So I know you guys have downloaded an app before or visited a website before. You can immediately put ads on them. Immediately. Not no 4,000 watch hours or none of that bull crap. You can immediately put ads on your sites and on your apps and stuff. Okay? So that's instant monetization right there. So imagine you're on this podcast. You're on this interview, radio interview, whatever it is. And they get to the point where they say, okay, if people want to purchase from you, where do they find you? And the moment you name your website or your asset, you're gonna get a flood of traffic to that asset. And even if that asset does not make any sales that day, if you have ads on that asset already, you're gonna make money instantaneously. So you're ringing the dinner bell for your asset just by exposing it. This is why I said <laughs> easiest ways to make money. All of these people talking about running ads, all of these people talking about prospecting and getting clients and doing all of this extra stuff. Uh, drop shipping 
picking the right product and all of this extra stuff. No, 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 no. If you just make it simple. You take an asset, you put it in front of people. When you make money, that's step three, that's profit recycling right here. When you make money from putting that asset in front of people, now you put a little percentage of that money, use it as uh, fuel for the fire to ramp up step one and step two. So step one, you'll take a percentage of that money to add better features to your asset. Make it more shiny, make it more appealing and attractive to draw in a bigger crowd. Now. Step two, you can add fuel to that fire by paying for bigger audiences, paying to get in front of bigger audiences. So like I said, when you did the first cycle, you might have got on some podcasts and did some interviews for free or for cheap or something like that. But now you want to go for the Joe Rogans of your industry and pay them whatever it takes to get in front of their millions and millions and millions of people. Do you see how that works? So now it's like a flywheel. So if you just go step one, step two, step three, step one, step two, step three, step one, step two, step three, you're gonna constantly be feeding the dragon and making fire money right here. You understand what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's why I said all of the easiest ways to make money online that you've heard before were lies because all of them have way more steps I didn't even tell you to build a website. Like I said, you can have it built for you. When people got into the asset empire, their, their assets were already, they're being built for them. Okay, so you don't even have to build the asset yourself. You don't have to learn any coding or anything like that. And then there are platforms for step two, like matchmaker.fm, like uh, Podmatch, where it's like a tender for business owners and entrepreneurs where they'll connect you with people that want to interview you in your industry. You don't even have to do outreach. <laughs> Easy, like I said. And then profit recycle, once you get the message out, you spread it to the four corners of the earth, the money just comes in and you just do it all over again. Those are the easiest ways of making money online. That literally is the easiest way. Asset, Leverage others, profit recycle. Boom.